Hi, welcome to the MindCenter.com. We are continuing with our series of uh, examples taken from a recent uh, exam paper, January 2023. Uh, this is the Pearson at Excel International GCSC. Yeah, I've got it here. Okay. Uh, the exam is a further PMS exam paper. And before we talk about the details, right? Uh, please share this video as much as you can. Uh, please follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Give this video a like. And visit thematcenter.com yeah, for all your needs. Yeah? IGCSC, A-levels, IB, maths, physics, accounting. Yeah? Uh, uh, you can find all sorts of courses, uh, online courses on our website. Yeah? Please visit the website. Okay. Uh, this is the further pure maths paper 1R. Yeah? Paper 1R, uh, January 2023, and uh, like I said earlier, Pearson at Excel International GCSC. And the paper reference is 4PM1 slash 01R. Okay? Uh, you can get the uh, exam paper and look up the questions uh, yourself. But what I've written on the board is what we need to solve the problem. Right? This is question number 3 on that exam paper. Question number 3. We are given an arithmetic series here. Yeah? We are given an arithmetic series. The first term is 16 and the common difference is negative 5. Okay? First term is 16. The common difference is negative 5. And you are told the sum to the first n terms. Okay? The sum to the first n terms is less than negative 450. Okay? You are told that. Yeah? You are given those things. And you are asked to find the least value of Okay, you have to find the least value n. Okay, so what are the important things? Basically, this is a formula driven problem and involves a little bit of inequalities that you can easily solve. Yeah? So that's generally the idea. So uh, we know that Sn, what is Sn? N over 2, 2a plus n minus 1, b. Okay, so we are told that Sn, let us plug those in, right? So n over 2, what is 2a? 32 plus n minus 1. What is d? Minus 5. All good. 2a is 32. And then I've got n minus 1 d. Fantastic, right? And this thing here is given as less than negative 450. So you can see from a problem involving uh, alphabetic progressions, you can just set up an inequality. Right? Just solve it and we are done, right? So let's do that. Maybe at least let me start doing it. I don't like this 2 here. Maybe I'll bring that up. I have got n uh, 32 plus n minus 1 negative 5 less than negative 500. Okay? So I've got n, let's see, I have 32 minus 5n plus 5 less than negative 900. Let me quickly check that. 32 minus 5n plus 5, fantastic, right? So let me move up here. Oh, no, let me just finish this here first, okay? I have got uh, n, I have got uh, 37 minus 5n is less than all good. Okay? So 32 plus 5, 37, and minus 5. So now I can I to move this up so I have some space. So I have got uh, 37n good, minus 5n squared less than minus 900. Fantastic. Okay? So let me leave this here. I have 5n squared. Let me check that, yeah? So I'm bringing all to the right hand side. So I have 0 less than, I have 5n squared, wait, minus 37n, minus 900. So this is the same as writing 5n squared minus 37n, minus 900 is bigger than, if 0 is less than something, that something was bigger than 0, right? So now you have a quadratic inequality. Basically, this doesn't look like something that you can easily solve. You can, but I mean solve, what I mean is, you can easily factorize. That's what that's the correct word, right? It's not something you can easily factorize. But this one here we're looking at. Okay? We need this value here and we need this value here. Okay? This is a quadratic curve, so it's bigger than zero. So I'm looking at this part here. Okay? Right? So I need these two values. Now if you use a calculator and use a quadratic formula, you'll get this value here as uh, 17 point, let me look at the number, right? 17 point, 
617. Okay? So, I'll repeat. You do that yourself. Eh? Of course, use the Pythagorean formula, use the calculator. You'll get this value. But I, I'm ignoring this, right? I'm ignoring this. Why? It's a negative value. It's a negative value. And so, you know, this is n is the number of terms, right? So, why do I need to worry about the negative value? So, I know this, this should be, n must be bigger than 17.617. So what's the smallest value of n? So the smallest value of n, n minimum will be 18. Okay, and we are done. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, give this video, give this video a like and share as much as you can. And please visit the mathsetter.com for all your maths, physics, and accounting needs. Right, IGCSE, A levels, and I. Thank you for watching.